Hi, I'm Miranda, and I'm going to be showing you how to find the perimeter of a rectangle with binomial expression sides. So what you do, basically, is you take the width, which is W, and then you'd add that to the length, which is L, and then you'd multiply that by 2. And when, by doing that, you'd figure out the perimeter, which is P. Or, if you want to make that simpler, it's P equals 2W plus 2L. So if you add the length and the width together and then multiply by 2, you will get the perimeter of a rectangle. Example 1. So, in this rectangle right here that I drew, um, yeah, the length is 2x plus 5 and the width is 3x plus 9. These are the binomial expressions. So to find the perimeter, you have to multiply these by 2 and then add them together. So you'd write it 2 times 3x plus 9 plus 2 times 2x plus 5. So you'd multiply the 2 by the numbers inside here. So you'd go 2 times 3x which equals 6x because you have to carry over the x into the number. So then you do 2 times 9 which is 18. And then you'd have to do the same on the length. So it would be 2 times 2x, which equals 4x, and then 2 times 5, which equals 10. So then after that, you have 6x plus 18 plus 4x plus 10. And then you have to add the like terms, which is x and x, and then like none and then nothing, together to simplify it. So you do 6x plus 4x, which equals 10x and then 18 plus 10, which equals 28. So the perimeter for this rectangle right here would be perimeter equals 10x plus 28. So for another example, I have another rectangle, which the length is 7x plus 3, and the width is 4x plus 5. So you do the same thing as you did in the one over here. Um, but, of course, it has different numbers. So you do 2 times 4x, which equals 8x, and 2 times 5 equals 10. And you do the same again over here. So 2 times 7x equals 14x, and 2 times 3 equals 6. So you'd write that as 8x plus 10 plus 14x plus 6. And then you'd have to simple, simplify that the same way you did in the last example. So you'd add the like terms, which is 8x plus 14x equals 22x. And then, so 10 plus 6 equals 16. So then, your answer would be perimeter equals 22x plus 16. For my third example, my length is 10x plus 4, and my width is 1x plus 3. So you'd write it out as 2 times 1x plus 3 plus 2 times 10x plus 4. So 2 times 1x is 2x, and 2 times 3 is 6. And then 2 times 10 is 20x, and then 2 times 4 is 8. Then you'd add those together, and you'd do 2x plus 6 plus 20x plus 8. And then you'd have to simplify by adding the like terms. So you'd have to do... 2x plus 20x equals 22x, and then 6 plus 8 equals 14. So then your answer is 22x plus 14. So 22x plus 14 is the perimeter of this rectangle. So then, this is going to be the last example, because I just, I'm going to just do one more, just to make sure that you understand how to find to the perimeter of a binom of a rectangle that has binomial expression sides. So this last rectangle has 9x plus 3 as the length and 5x plus 5 as the width. So again you'd write it out like this and so 2 times 5x equals 10x and 2 times 5 equals 10. And then for the other one 2 times 9x equals 18x and then 2 times 3 equals 6. So then you'd write that as 10x plus 10 plus 18x plus 6. 
So then you'd have to simplify. And then so 10x plus 18x equals 28x. And then 10 plus 6 equals 16. So then you would get the answer of perimeter equals 28 plus 16. So that would be, so 28x plus 16 would be the perimeter of this rectangle right here. So, no, too low, okay. Um, so I hope I helped you um, get to know how to find the perimeter of a rectangle with binomial expression sides. So um, have a good day. Bye.